So, welcome back guys to a brand new ARK video. Now today, I'm going to be talking about why everyone is coming back to ARK for the next few months because there's lots of stuff to look forward to and I really feel like the game is going to be amazing not just for the end of the year but moving on into 2020 as well. There is so much to go through in today's video and also we are going to be getting a very very good community community crunch a little bit later today so make sure to watch out for tomorrow's video but if you guys are excited about the future of ARK and what to expect in these next few months smash that like button let's try and go for over 600 likes subscribe if you're new to the channel and let's get straight in with today's news. Now in my last video I showed you guys this information again because it wasn't really to do with the video, the video was to do with the Halloween update, but loads of people need to know what is going on with the quality of life improvement updates. So this person said, said what's up with the um, silent treatment, I thought there was supposed to be some news about the quality of life updates this week, and he has, he has obviously replied saying, I'm still putting a list together. It's taken longer than expected, and when I said updates earlier, I didn't mean to say that we already had updates lined up. I meant that we're posting a list and then choosing from that for the updates. Now what this basically means is quality of life improvements, while we kind of done them over the years of the game, that counts as stuff like TLC, making the game look better, you know, there was things like, obviously when TLC 1 and 2 was released, there was 4K for the Xbox One X, all of that stuff, graphical improvements, less lag, all of that is what ARK really needs, and that is what they're focusing on right now, building up to the release of the Genesis DLC. Now that is something that you guys need to look forward to as well for the future, there is the new Season Pass first DLC coming out, we'll talk about that later on in the video, but this is the main thing we're going to be talking about first, which is all of the quality of life improvements. Now, there was the last Community Crunch release 196, and it had On The Horizon. Now, as you can see, the quality of life improvements this week will be sharing quality of life changes with that we have catalogued internally from the community feedback and things that have been brought up in internal meetings from our designers. Now, as I said, that can be things like changing Dino's appearances with the TLCs, changing different parts of maps, fixing problems that the game needs, everything like that. It doesn't really count as bugs because um, uh, because the bug side of things is uh, what they're working on, uh, you know, what they've been working on for the past few months months of exploit and everything like that but these quality of life changes is what makes the game look better our hope is that you add to this list and we can begin chipping away at everything that needs to be changed and made look better in the game there'll be more details to come later this week now there has been a delay on that and i think the reason behind that is because they're just going to release all the information in the next community crunch which i'll make a video on when we get it um but that again is some big news now the public beta, the public beta PC is still live. Now it should still be live if I'm correct. If not, then it would have closed, but they are going to be doing a third one. The public beta is something that Wildcard are doing, which is testing out different things within the game. And um, this one was on like cave PVP meta. So if you're interested in learning more about the public beta, just type in Arc public beta 2, and you can get yourself involved if you play on the PC. Because if these changes are what the community wants and what wildcard thinks fits well with the game then obviously it will come in the next few updates now again this is a very interesting thing happening for the game you can actually get now rewarded for playing arc they've partnered with this company here to reward arc's most dedicated players so all you have to do is follow all of these steps and you can get rewarded for playing arc through this company which is absolutely fantastic and you can win lots of um, like prizes and everything like that now classic PvP, preparation was still underway for classic PvP, but they now have announced season 2 in a brand new post. Now if you're looking right here and you're seeing PS4 transfers disabled, I am coming to that in a second, don't you worry, all of the information on transfers for PS4, but the, here we go with classic PvP season 2. So recently we launched a new initiative, classic PvP, which is aimed at bringing back the original days of PvP. These early days were full of fun and engaging battles with limited technology and emphasis on primitive as as aspects sorry, of PvP. Recent feedback from the community suggests that classic PvP is a good start to reimagining early PvP, but there's still more you'd like to see. 
When we originally launched Classic PvP, we launched it, launched it with a seasonal-based concept in mind. The idea of implementing a seasonal-based approach in arc in an arc game mode was to like sort of see what the you know what it was like for the, for the community to see if it worked. And on Friday, which is uh, what well, 10 a.m. PDT, we'll be taking steps to get closer to the initial concept that inspired the game mode by implementing a few changes that have been requested by the community. In addition to these changes, we'll be wiping classic PvP and preparing for season two. So season 2 changes, cryopods are now craftable in obelisk terminals, they've heard this feedback, and cave building is actually disabled. A lot of people have actually seemed to have get, got annoyed by these changes, so let me know what you think about this, and if you're wondering what is going on with console, when's console going to be able to try this out? I cannot even give you guys that information, there was someone that asked said on Twitter saying, there's no, console players are getting lower and lower right now. People are stopping playing the game um, at the moment due to like there's just lack of content and stuff. And he said, as soon as I have information, I'll let you know. They're trying their best and everything like that. But this is why I'm making today's video to show you guys what's coming, what's in the future of Ark, and why you should be excited for the game. Now, moving back to the community crunch, there is modding sponsorships going on, as you guys know. Big sponsorship partners are happening at the moment. There's lots that are in the run to actually come officially to the game. Wildcard have stated that they do want more official mods in the game, and that's what they're planning on doing throughout the year. As you guys saw, Valguero won the modding competition last year, and it is now officially in the game, and that is what's happening more and more and more. Now, what I mentioned at the start of the video, TLC, part of the quality of life updates in past years, we got in February the 10th, 2018, we got phase one. In phase two, which was April the 26th and March the 21st on the PC, we had lots of different changes to the dinos, and we were told that TLC3 was going to be coming our way within the next update, and now quality of life is on its way, guys, and that is what I'm excited to see. There is still no announcement for it, it just says to be announced, um, but <coughs> hopefully within time we'll get the news on this as the uh, as the quality of life improvements come closer and with the community crunch coming hopefully they mention TLC i don't think they'll do it first as there's meant to be some other big changes and releases to the game they're going to be releasing TLC as a big sort so i'll try that again as i couldn't stop coughing but what i was trying to say is they won't release TLC Phase 3 with something else because they'll want to brand it massively and bring lots of players back. And this is what they're going to be doing every month with huge releases building up to what I'll be talking about at the end of the video. Now before the final thing, I said that I would talk about PS4 transfers. Now currently PS4 survivors transfers have been disabled due to recent exploits. We'll keep you updated on the progress. Now, if you didn't know a few months, no, about a month ago, or it could have even been three weeks ago, Xbox had their transfers disabled. This was due to a huge duping issue, which has now been fixed. People are still saying it's around every now and then, but there was a huge one that everyone was doing so easily. And by the sounds of things, PS4 may have it as well. I don't know if it's due to duping. You guys will have to let me know. But transfers are now disabled on the PS4. I can't even give you guys the information about when they're coming back because it's all down to when Wildcard are going to fix it and I'm sure they'll probably mention something on it in the new community crunch but it just seems to be as the game goes on more people are getting more frustrated they're doing more um, like duplicating they're messing up the game and this is why Wildcard are sorting all of this stuff up on the build up to the final thing I'm talking about today guys which is Arc Genesis. Now, you'll hear the, the, the music in the background there, which I'm going to obviously pause. Arc Genesis is going to be available for Steam, Xbox One, and PS4. You guys will see there's going to be new dinos, new creatures, so much new stuff coming with the release of this new DLC, and it is very, very exciting. Now, Genesis isn't a DLC itself. It's a season pass, so there will be two expansions coming within Genesis, which is very, very exciting to see. But the one thing that we're waiting for now, guys, is what is officially going to be all in every single month's update in the quality of life improvements building up to December. 
Anyway guys, thank you for watching today's video. I hope you have got all the information about what is happening with Ark. Why lots of people are planning on coming back to the game because there is things like TLC on the horizon. Things that people really want. New stuff It's what is needed for the game and hopefully it won't come with problems like Valgero did when the new map was first released. Thank you for watching guys, smash that like button, let's see if we can hit the 600 like target. Subscribe if you're new to the channel with notifications turned on, and I'll catch you guys in my next video. See you guys later.